Hi everyone, it's me, Julie Vu. So today I actually wanted to share with you guys some of my personal photos of back in the day. Um, I know a lot of transgender people do not want a connection with their past life or them before if they were like a girl or a boy. Like they don't want to be reminded of that life. And for me, you know, I, I like to, like I don't mind because I feel like I can use it as a reference. I can look back and look at today and see how much I've grown and how much I've changed, you know, because that person was, you know, a huge part of my life. I don't have like a huge collection. Everything else is at my parents' house, but these are like some of my graduation photos that have like do not copy printed all over them a little bit ratchet but you know girl i don't have the money to freaking buy the prints excuse you first photo i'm going to show you is actually framed and this is in black and white there's something about a black and white photo that is just so mysterious and so cool <laughs> it looks very masculine you know um and it's funny because no matter who i was john julian julie like i've always tried my best to be the best person that I could be no matter what body I was in you know during the John era I was like you know I tried to fit in I tried to be gangster I tried to act a certain way I tried to act more manly more masculine I would hang out with my high school friends and I would have to blend in so I would have to girl, uh, call girls like you know hot and I would like want to bang her and stuff but secretly I just wanted to know her makeup tricks <laughs> oh those were the days girl I have this one framed because um, I used to have it on my shelf and I would like wake up and I'd look at it and be like yes yes we lived girl we lived we conquered and we will survive I look way too young. This looks like like high school, like grade eight, grade seven. Do you guys remember these kind of photos with the crazy ass backgrounds with like the dragon and stuff? Hold on, focus, honey. Oh my gosh, so this was me, okay? I thought this red visor was like the cutest thing ever. Um, I had this shirt that said extreme on it because you know, I am extreme, I'm crazy and I'm wild. Um, but the ones with the backgrounds, they would like print out like 50 of these and you would hand them out to your friends. I thought I was so cool. I had like 12 of these. Um, so yes, when I was a little boy, like, come on, I had like super feminine features. Look at my hair. I even like did the little bang thing. I've always had a small nose and a little bit of a juicier lip. All right. So that's me probably grade grade 10 ish grade 10 oh gosh i like loved cardigans and i've always had like this weird wrinkle on my forehead i don't know if you guys can tell or notice yeah i had this like weird ass wrinkle lines on top of my forehead i don't have them anymore it's so so crazy i don't have these wrinkles anymore even if i tried like like raising my forehead like i don't know where they came from but i remember i had like super deep like three like wrinkle lines and Oh, it was not cute but like the way I took photos back then I was like I raised my eyebrows and it like caused those lines but now I don't I don't have them I don't know why maybe the hormones or something I, I don't know but even if I tried like there's no lines and no I did not get Botox or fillers and if I did I would tell you guys because I tell you guys everything I had a sex change I had my boobs done I had my Adam's apple shaving down girl I will tell you anything like Botox is not a huge problem this is probably one of my favorite grad photos it's like the, the generic like pose my teeth were really white I still have the same nose I had an industrial piercing right here that really freaked me up it like rejected and it rejected outwards so it like started to come out this way and it like healed so now I have like a scar on my right ear like right here and right here where the industrial piercing used to be yeah i don't do well with piercings at all at all i like suffered from like a belly piercing for the longest time ever at one point blood and like flesh was coming out of it it was disgusting but it's all good now so here's a closer look at the photo it says john vu down here oh lord the only person that calls me john vu these days is my real dad who won't accept me for who i am but whatever he's the only person that can have that privilege of calling me like john still actually my mom called me john the other day when i slept over their house okay i like turn over and she like john and i was like you're the shade the shade mom um i had no makeup on she's like john like i don't look that bad without any makeup on what the hell this one's really cute actually again with the lines on the forehead like the wrinkles girl like hold on let me move it closer so you guys can see um girl look at those lines on my forehead it was major i feel like i look older in this freaking photo than i do like right now isn't that weird damn those lines did add age to me girl i would totally bang him if i was like some 
some guy. Me and Sagar were actually talking about like posting older photos on me on like Grinder and see how guys would re reply and I would like catfish them and be like, surprise, I had a sex change. <laughs> um, but this is a really, really cute photo. I need to frame all of these before like it gets like wrecked and ruined. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this was like a year in my transition. How cute of a girl did, oh, hold on. Let let's do a comparison here. Girl. The transition is real. What happened to my forehead? See, it's not there. The, the forehead wrinkles aren't there. I think I look good in both genders. Like sometimes I think about like detransitioning and like see how I could pull off life. Girl, I would be all over Ellen and be like, yep, I transitioned, detransitioned, transitioned again. I don't know, but. Oh my gosh, I was such a poser. Look at this guys. This is like back in the day when Instagram wasn't around. I was a huge poser. Like th these are outfit of the day shoots, you guys. This is what you see on Instagram today. Today's. All right, so burn them. This was my birthday. How old was I? Oh, it doesn't say. Okay, so to the, what? Okay, so it's 28, 2006. How old was I when I was in 2006? I can't do the math right now. Wait, 2017, I'm 24. <laughs> Bitch, don't judge me. I may be Asian, but that stereotype is so wrong. I'm so bad at math. I failed like math 11 twice, okay? So don't even come for me. Wait, how would I calculate this? Um, I, I, I don't even know what to do with my calculator. Um, but this is bugging me now. I need to Google this. If you were born, born on July 28th, 1992, how old would you, wait, no. Okay, so I just figured it out. I think you do 2006 minus 1992. This is so freaking embarrassing. 2006 minus 1992. I was 14 years old. I'm smart, okay? So there I am in the middle, in front of the cake. I have a triple five soul shirt on. Um, the little boy holding me is my little brother, Jason Luong, who is such a rebel these days. He was such a cute little kid. I loved him. I still love him. Um, but there's my brother in the background, DJ Jimmy Vu, in the blue. He looks the same still. And then we just have some friends. The guy in the green shirt right over here was one of my closest friends in high school. I forgot his name. I think his name started with like an M. But he was like my neighbor, like next door. And it's really sad because we were so close and stuff. And then when I came out in high school that I was gay, like I lost all my guy friends. It's really sad because he like disappeared too. It's really sad. I hope times are changing. Like I wonder what it's like in high school um, these days. But it was, it was really sad when I came out and like I just lost all my friends. Um, yeah. Oh, that got me a little bit emotional. I don't know why. Um, anyways, moving on. You can't see this picture. Lame. Are you guys ready for this? I'm like kind of freaking out. But these were my, like my closest friends in high school. Some of them I don't talk to anymore. Um, but mainly these are the people that really supported me through high school. Um, and was really there for me. This is Natalie Jade, which I still keep in contact with. She was like my ride and die bitch. We would like drive. Um, I would pick her up every morning to go eat we'd go tanning we'd have sushi she's like my bitch and i love her so much this is cara de roche i love her family her family are very sweet and this is brianne joint um but yes i would say i still keep i still keep in contact with these two people um but mainly natalie jade she's so beautiful and we've all grown so much i feel like especially me though like come on who knew that i would turn out to be such a hot bitch Harder than all these fucking bitches. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <clears throat> I can't wait for like the high school reunion. Like I'm gonna show up, girl, in a Bentley from my sugar daddy, girl. I'm gonna roll up with like long hair and big, bigger titties. And I'd be like, yo, all you motherfuckers out there who bullied me, who, you know, didn't believe in me. Well, guess what? Guess what? Hair flip. Don't breathe the same air as me, bitch. Leave. Get on my bubble. You can't sit with me. 
Honestly, I just find it so funny that all the guys who bullied me in high school now just wants to fuck me. It's like, bitch, no, you weren't there when I was struggling and now you want to be here when I'm all done and I got a snatched ass pussy? No. Please. Anyways, moving on, we have some more high school photos. Um, but they're pretty repetitive. So, no, 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 no. After this photo, who knew I'd like turn out to be Miss Princess Jewels? Like, I did nothing with my high school certificate. Like, no, I didn't go to university. I didn't go to college. I didn't go to makeup school. I graduated. I started YouTube. Um, I worked at MAC Cosmetics without makeup classes because you don't need a freaking piece of paper to say that you're a makeup artist. Um, and I slayed the fucking internet. So I'm proud of myself. I'm happy. And yes. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Just look through my old photos with me because I don't know. I, I'm not ashamed. I'm not embarrassed of who I was back then. I feel like it's super important to, you know, recognize, realize, remember, and all that good stuff. And I hope that, you know, I feel I, I feel like I am still the same person. It's just I've grown so, so much. You know, I feel like transgender people, we, we go through more than the average person. You know, we know what it's like to be in the boys' washroom. We know what it's like to be in the girls' washroom. Like, we, we have... A lot of perspective and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i love you guys so much please stay strong and shine on Mwah.